Hello and welcome to Caribbean Vibrations, TV's number one Caribbean show. It's me, your boy, Alan, and today we are in St. Martin for the first of a two-part carnival episode. On today's show, we're going to check out this amazing Latin concert. We're going to talk with Miss Carnival, the winner of the Miss Carnival pageant. Plus, we'll check out this amazing event, the main event. Nerez is going to line with Bungie and Fian. But first up, the crew got to check out some really different activities this beautiful island has to offer. Caribbean Vibrations TV, there are times when I embark on adventures that I'm not really too sure of doing. But I'm excited, and a very special lady here is gonna let me know why. Because you dive in here with Aquamania Adventures. I'm at Aquamania Adventures, and I'm going to go on a scuba dive. What do I need to know about Aquamania taking me on a scuba dive? First of all, you will be with Aquamania Professional Dive Staff. And the dive that we're doing is called the Discover Scuba. It's an introductory dive into scuba diving. It's for beginners and everybody who just wants to know about scuba diving. How long have you been doing the scuba dive? How long have you been doing Aquamania for? I've been here 14 years and the company is over 25 years on the island. And what's your role with them? We are the activities desk and I'm an activities agent. What kind of activity am I really getting into right now? Right now, if you sign up for any of our activities, that is anything from scuba diving, dinner cruises, day sail, day trips to neighboring island, anything that has to do with activities, fun, excitement on the island, we are the leisure technicians for that. The leisure technician? Yes, we are. So are you implying that I'm broken and I need fixing? Not really, just a little bit more. I would say, just a little bit more. I'm very excited. Me too. Any advice that I need to have? Breathe slowly and take your time. I'm not going to get bit by, a, by, by a, a fish in a school, am I? No, and there are no sharks where you're going, all the sharks are on land. Am I allowed to say that? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. This is the helmet you're going to be using today. It weighs 75 pounds. On the wall, it's going to be 15 pounds. We attach a hose to the helmet. Air pressure keeps the water out. Water sits right around here. Please do not go and wander around the track unsupervised. It's a guided tour. The track will have handrails on both sides so you can hold on and wait. Sea Truck was a really, really cool adventure. Even some of the camera guys got involved, and even people who are afraid of water got a chance to see underwater with an amazing way of swimming. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned veteran, Sea Trek is something you really got to do when you're in St. Martin. Hi, my name's Mark, and we're down in the wonderful island of St. Martin at the Tiki Hut and the Sea Trek platforms out in the wonderful Little Bay. Uh, you're watching Caribbean Vibrations TV. Hey, everyone, it's your girl Karen for Caribbean Vibrations TV. We're still here on the beautiful island of St. Martin. Right now, we're hanging out at the Seaside Nature Park with Roderick, the owner. How are you doing, Roderick? Fine, wonderful. Having a wonderful day today. Uh, glad to have you at Seaside. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It couldn't be any better. I'm going to be doing a little horse ride around the beach, but tell me, tell me a little bit about your establishment. Well, Seaside was established about eight years now uh, here in uh, Cape Bay, and we are doing horseback riding tours mainly, but we also do a lot of social uh, projects for the kids as well. And uh, today we're going to give you a treat. We're going to let you do the uh, swim adventure with the horse. I can't wait, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm bringing the crew with me too and I want everybody to see how we do it here in St. Martin. So tell me, like, uh, it's carnival time. Does it get quite busy around here this time of year? Or 
Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We were quite full this morning. We had a large crowd here this morning as well from the cruise ships. But um, in the mornings, it's busy. In the afternoons, it's Carnival Village. Yeah? Yeah. Are you heading over there later? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so do you normally play with the, in the parade or do you go check it out? Um, we have in the past uh, taken the horses in the parade, but because of the busy schedule we have now with the cruise ships, it's kind of difficult for us. Enjoy the Caribbean Sea with your horse. Thanks for having us. I'm a pleasure. Welcome to Pursuit Wellness, where you'll find hands-on patient care, physiotherapy, rehabilitation, enhanced athletic training, and health education. Our holistic therapies include physiotherapy, massage therapy, naturopathy, chiropractic, and feet care. With 30 years of experience, we take injured patients of all ages to improve their health and wellness by 100%. Our goal is to return our patients to the routine of their daily lives. We wish to reduce any potential health risks and improve overall quality of life. Pursuit Wellness accepts all major insurance carriers as coverage. For more information, visit us at pursuitwellness.ca. This is the Reds from Caribbean Vibrations TV, St. Martin, 2014 Carnival. Sometimes I get to do fun stuff, like be backstage with royalty. Can you let everybody know who you are? Well, my name is Faye Lyons and I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. This is Bonji Garland from Trinidad and Tobago. Check, check. I, I feel really fortunate right now to be with you guys. It's really cool to be with both of you at the same time. How is it working together at the same time? Honestly, you're not allowed to answer this question. You have to answer this question. Um, it's, it's very easy, you know, he's, he's very talented and he, he basically inspires you to bring out the best possible side of you on stage from a musical standpoint. And um, I learn a lot being on stage from, from just, you know, interacting and, and how he freestyles and he's able to basically off the top just go into something and then I have to now try and think quicker and, you know, try and match that. It's, it's nice, you know, I, I, it, it's like you have somebody that's, that you're running a race and they could really run. So the only thing you could do is try and keep up and eventually, you know, you'll get, you'll get faster and faster. So, does there come a time when you're like, you know, I might just have to outdo my wife tonight. She, she kind of she kinda rubbed me the wrong way. But tonight I just want to make sure that she knows that I am bungee. God. No, 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 we, we don't, go, don't go with that plan, but um, when we get into the, you know, the, the, the exchange, you know, sides, you see who could bring more vibes. That's when the competitive side comes out, but when, once that moment is done, it's back to, you know, yeah. So the recent success of a song that you, I don't, did you think that it would get this large? No, well, honestly, um, we didn't know what would have happened, to tell you the truth. We just knew it was different, and we know the response would have been different to what is usually, um, what normally comes with soca responses. We know this response would have been different. Um, you know, a new set of people would have liked it, but we didn't know it would have been this far, this long. And you know, we, we just we give thanks for it and we go in with it wherever it goes. What was the feeling like in the studio? Were you present at the time when he was making it as well? I, um, I actually started law school and he dropped me to class and he went to the studio. So when I finished class and he picked me up, he played it for me in the car and I was like, okay, that's awesome, I love it. He said, we're missing something. I said, we need to get um, those really um, pop rock kind of background vocals on it okay. and guitars. And then that, from that moment you knew it was ready? Ready, ready. <laughs> <laughs> How do you go about topping a record like that? Um, you don't go about topping a record like that. You just do music. Um, and that's a problem a lot of artists end up in, you know, the, the success of the last record they have, they feel so much pressure to, to either do something like or to outdo. And, um, and they just end up losing the whole vibe of creativity in itself. And it end up being a kind of process hybrid, something that you really don't want to hear. So you just leave it for the moment, a natural vibe to just take place. And whatever comes, comes. Do you want to make something different than different allergy? Oh, gladly. Um, my thing is, you know, Differentology is a standalone song. It, it created a, a particular specific historical moment. It did what it did. And for us to go back into that dif Differentology era, even for me, from a standpoint, trying to, to copycat or match that, it just won't work. It won't work. You know, sometimes lightning don't strike twice in the same place. So you need to go and capture the new moment, the new Differentology of the new time that you're in and really see what else, because if you keep chasing different ontology, you will miss whatever new 
forms of music that you would have discovered. So, you know, it's really about saying, you know what, it was good, it's happening, let it run its course. We're on to trying to figure out what else is there. So, I want to explore more of the dynamics of both of you working on stage. I find it really inspirational for a lot of people that that see you guys doing what you're doing and know that you can aspire to something like that. But in particular, I've seen a, a couple of times while you're on stage, while she was performing, where you're looking at, like, that's your wife. And she looked, you know, the way that she, you, I, I saw it. Is there, how do you keep your focus while you're on stage knowing that this is the person that you're, like, that she's, she's the one, like, you know what I mean? Like, how do you do it? I don't know. And I think it, it, it's, it's something that you don't put, you don't try to overemphasize. You, you just leave it and know that this is what it is and you just let that magic just take place and you don't I, I, I never really found myself going into like a thought process of you know that like, like, this is who she is and that is who she is at this time and trying to split between the two um i know where the whole circle is you know so i just exist within that moment wherever it is happening i just let just let it take just take just take just take its own route very diplomatic Yes. Awesome. I got a chance to speak with your uh, father a few months ago and uh, he has only great words to say about both of you working together. How, how does that whole dynamic work? Like what's, what, what are family barbecues like? like? Well, first and foremost, my dad is who introduced us when I was 18, 17 or 18. Wow. Yes. So I wasn't singing at, at, at the time he was. So he, my dad brought me backstage to take a picture with him and we did. And then I didn't see him again until I started um, actually actively recording and performing and the band I was with at the time. He used to come on stage and do cameos and stuff like that. But from like a family perspective, we like regular folks, you know, we just, I cook, everybody eat, yeah. and then they carry home what wasn't eaten, and that's about it. And you want to raise your kids to do the same thing? Um, well, she looks like that's what she's gonna do. We bring her, and like sometimes we bring her, like to like Saint Vincent, Saint Kitts, and we bring her on the song check. And she's, you know, she's really familiar with all the guys and things. I've seen her tear up the stage yes, once. Yes, you know, the guys have been basically grooming her with all the instruments to see which one she likes. And, you know, she can basically name all the different instruments. She likes to play on the drums, so the drummer is really cool. He lets her go and knock around on the drums and stuff like that. So um, we, we're actually introducing her to it from a very safe and controlled standpoint. So, you know, she understands the dynamics that goes into a, a band and, and performance and professionalism. But at the same time, you know, we really do stress that um, an education is key. So she does have something to really solidify whatever she decides to do in life. St. Martin, you guys are here. What is it that you guys love most about this island? The ambiance. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yes, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Have you taken part in any of the carnival festivities outside of performing? Like, find yourself in a... We never hear long enough, really. Yeah, that's true. We never hear long enough. We just in, do it, go on. Go on. Yeah. What can we look forward to for you guys for the rest of 2014 and 2015 coming up? Hard work. Hard work and, um, well, um, I'm working on my first album and um, we just got signed to VP, so they're really trying to really push the album out as quickly as possible for this year. And just continued hard work and, you know, keeping the unit together as a family and music. More music and more music. So, thank you so much. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Caribbean Vibrations TV, Royalty, St. Martin Carnival 2014. At the same.